that generalized peritonitis. You know, laparoscopy is good for localized peritonitis. Like suppose you have done the surgery and laparoscopy and you are doing only for first 24 hours. No problem, you can do laparoscopy. But suppose patient come after 6 days with a complete generalized peritonitis. There is a BOE prognostic parameter that is called a BOE prognostic parameter. In that he has given first is duration of perforation. If duration of perforation is more than 48 hour, not good prognosis. Second is diameter of perforation. In diameter is more than 5 mm that is GN perforation 1 centimeter, 2 centimeter, not good prognosis. And third is age of the patient. If age of the patient is more than 35 year, not good prognosis. Why generalized peritonitis is contraindicated? There are many problems in generalized peritonitis. First problem of generalized peritonitis that four time increase in hypercarbia. Hypercarbia increases faster because this inflamed peritoneum CO2 absorption is more. Do you know when, when nephrologists are prescribing the peritoneal dialysis, they give a strict uh, this uh, caution to the patient, warning to the patient that if you have fever or pain abdomen, stop the peritoneal dialysis because that will completely you know absorb the dialyzing solution. So, there will be four times more hypercarbia. After that, there is increased bacteremia bacteremia. Do you know even if the duodenum is perforated, first 24 hour it is a sterile peritonitis because duodenum does not have bacteria, so chemical peritonitis. After that it start gram positive, after that it start gram negative, after that it start anaerobic. Am I right? And all those bacteria if you are putting CO2, those bacteria is pushed into the blood stream. So, patient already has a leukocytosis bacteremia, patient will go to septicemia, generalized. Third problem of generalized peritonitis is bad vision, very bad vision. Do you know healthy peritoneum act as a reflector of a torch? In the torch, you have a reflector. So, our abdominal wall, once we distend it, it becomes like a reflector of a torch. And once the CO2 go to uterus, it return back again, it will reflect back. So, there will be increased improved vision. But inflamed red color absorbs all the light, you will not see anything. This is a inflamed case, you will not see. And fourth is fibrinous exudates. Fibrinous exudates are just like a curled like deposition you might have seen after generalized white, 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 those exudates create interbarbell adhesion, pus pockets. And if you will try by laparoscopy to clean those fibrinous exudates, there will be trauma. And sometimes these fibrinous exudates are adhering the bowel with the abdominal wall. And then during putting the trocar, you will perforate. So, that is why generalized peritonitis is a contraindication.